We know you have a lot of questions. What does it mean for you now that the end is here for the moratoriums for evictions and foreclosures? We have some answers from Amanda Cohen with Bowman Law. Amanda, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So I know a lot of people are calling into your office with these questions. What are you telling them? And let's start with evictions. They need to know that there are resources and options available to them. Uh, one option is, of course, to get in touch with us. Uh, lease arrears are something that can be resolved through a bankruptcy case, allowing renters to stay in their homes. Um, and there's also resources if they would like to get out of the residence at this point, um, in addition to other resources that are non-bankruptcy related that are available on our website. Talk more about some of those resources that they can get answers to. So we have a variety of eviction diversion resources, including references to various legal aid organizations and other rental assistance programs available there, as well as how potential bankruptcy options could work for them. So how about now the, the foreclosure moratoriums ending? What does it mean for people who have a mortgage? It means that they're going to have to resolve those forbearances that they've been taking advantage of during this tough time. A lot of folks we're hearing from accepted the forbearances at, you know, at some point during the uh, past year and a half, and they need to resolve those now. And a lot of folks, I think, thought that they were going to be added to the end of the mortgage or something like that. But in most cases, they accepted the forbearance without either the mortgage company or the uh, person knowing what they were going to do or what the plan is. And now they're facing having to resolve that by either repaying it, um, doing a loan modification, um, or visiting with us about how to resolve that so they can stay in their home. What other things should homeowners be aware of? So there's an upcoming moratorium on utility shutoffs that will be expiring soon, meaning folks who have not been paying their utilities will be facing collections from the utility, which can include their uh, services being shut off. Um, as well as folks who may have homeowners association dues coming due or haven't been paying those. And those are both issues that we can also resolve uh, through our bankruptcy services. Where can people go for more information on the things we've talked about today and also talk with someone about their personal situation? I always recommend starting with our website, www.bolmanlaw.com. There is a ton of helpful information on there about resources for eviction and foreclosure, um, as well as information on how to contact us and how bankruptcy works. Uh, our phone number, they can also reach us at, is 757-313-3000, where they can set up a free consultation with our office virtually or in person. We will help you. Amanda, thank you so much. Thank you.